This is a build that was done by uh, Ben and Alex on our team. A consultant and developer worked on this one. Um, so this is an integration from CRM to Writer to Zoho Sign, and then all the way back into CRM again at the end. Um, so this is, a, this is actually a much more complicated implementation what we have here. This is a pretty drilled down version of it, but it captures the core idea. So essentially the goal here was to do some document automation. Um, but this is a case where a lot of the times we're doing document automation, we have all the data and we just want to send it and have them sign it. And then the CRM just needs to know that it's been signed, right? And then it kicks off the invoice and yada, 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 you know, beautiful flow. In this case, this is more where we're sending out these documentations that have some data filled in, but have a lot of data that's not filled in yet, right? So they're capturing things like different types of contacts, right? Like, hey, who's the billing contact? Who's the signing authority? Who's this? Who's that? You know, that that might be in CRM, but very well might not. Also has information filling in about some of the like specific requests or requirements from the client that might need to go to like a deal or you know, a specific custom module related to what they're kind of signing for or negotiating. Um, so essentially what we did, you know, you've got your account, you got your deal. Um, because there were so many of these different document templates, like dozens of different templates that might need to be sent out, um, the team decided to create a custom module underneath the deal so that we kind of parse out like, you know, deal specific templates versus like tax specific templates versus this specific templates. Um, so we're running a lot of these out of a custom module. We send out the document with some of the data pre-filled, but where a lot of it is not pre-filled yet because we just don't have access to that data. This is kind of when they're going to give it to us. And then the team set up essentially a listener to say, hey, whenever the document is signed, let's run it through a function, right? Let's look at what type of document it is, right? Because different templates might require like updates to different parts of the CRM. But when that document is signed, we can actually get all of the field data so in sign, you know, you can drag in those like fillable fields, someone can fill them out. Um, but when it's submitted, that's all API accessible now just as like, you know, parameter value JSON data. So we can capture that data, um, run it through a flow and update it across, you know, many different places in CRM, right? So in this place, it's updating the account with some of the information captured, you know, maybe you grab like an EIN, tax fair number, XYZ, um, you know, it's updating the deal with some of the specific info that's relevant to that transaction. Um, we also have a custom module for account contact roles in this implementation, and it's writing there. So now we can know, hey, this is the billing contact. This is the signing contact, you know, X, Y, Z from this uh, documentation. Um, so yeah, nice implementation. Again, the big one there is just that this is kind of the reverse of a lot of the automations that we do with documents where we don't actually have all the data yet, but we kind of want to use this thing like a form. It's like, hey, let's fill it out. We capture it like a form, but then you can still sign it like a document. So you kind of get best of both worlds on the build out. Yeah, very cool. Uh, like like you said, this is a this is a really big one, a lot of moving parts. Um, but yeah, big big kudos, big shout out to uh, superpower team of uh, Ben and Alex uh, for uh, stitching it all together. 